YouTube, what's good? It's Merce the Curse. Um, hope everything's good with you guys. Everything's fantastic with me. My little girl turned six yesterday. Tomorrow's a party. Love and life. Back for another video today. Shoe review. Not actually even a shoe review, my bad. Um, had some people ask me how I lace um, up my dunk highs after that last video I just made. So I will show you guys quickly how you can get a lace job like that from your factory sneaker all right i mean some people say they like factory lace jobs me personally i do not i think the way your shoes are laced is very important now crappy thing with sbs is um if you want to use the kevlar laces sometimes they look a little um kind of bunched up or yeah i guess that's the best way to say it is the kevlar inside bunches the cotton up or whatever it's wrapped around it well whatever so start out with your uh, lace cross here. Now, sorry if you guys can't really see this. I'll uh, lower the camera down. Hopefully it'll make the video a little better for y'all. So start, leave that real wide across. And then what I do is I always go over the eyelet in and then back out. like so and as you do that you definitely want to make sure that you got each lace part is flat you're not twisted you're not turned like that you always want to make sure they're flat all the way across and you always want to leave a little bit of extra loopage on the outside there because when you wear them they'll fatten out so you do that once again Coming across, over the eyelets, over the eyelets, and keeping it flat. Sorry guys, it's just easier for me to lace them up my lap, but as you can see, you always want to try what I always do anyways. I always keep the same lace going over the same side each time. Like if you look, I always got this lace goes up over, sorry, this part goes up over top, over top, over top, over top. This one's coming under, under, under. That's just the way I like to do them. To me, it looks good like that. So, yeah, basically, go over and in. Like I said, make sure to leave a little loop there, just like a little bit of extra space. That way your shoe will fatten up. So you just continue doing that. I've also had people ask me about the lace loop there in the tongue. And um, I don't actually go in it on highs because I go, I lace my shoes up to the eyelet right before the flaps. So it's actually not even high enough for me to uh, get in there so I don't actually use that so pretty simple just make sure you keep a little extra on each shoe each time and then just crisscross each time same back and forth back and forth over top of the eyelets and going in that is how I lace up my dunk highs guys so um, please guys follow me on Twitter at Merce the Curse um, check the Facebook groups Ah, sorry, join the Facebook group, Merce the Curse Kicks. Um, I also started a Tumblr page, mercethecurse.tumblr.com. Check it out, just some writing I do, pictures I take, videos I do, videos my friends and other people do, everything. So it's uh, definitely a good look, guys. So please, uh, thumbs up, comment in the box below, and subscribe on that yellow button right above if you haven't already. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace.